Hello, my friends, David Kessler here, and welcome back to the studio. Now, if you're like me and you know Marines, or maybe you have some Marines in your family or some of your friends are Marines, you may have heard them talk about one of their sort of training principles, and it's called Improvise, Adapt, and Overcome. And I know quite a few Marines. I know some that served in Korea, Vietnam, the, the Vietnam people have passed away. Some of the, most of the Korean war veterans that I knew had passed away. Uh, and I also know people that served in Afghanistan. Uh, and I have the highest regard for the military, our military, and I'm not trying to you know, compare artists with military personnel. All I'm trying to do is say that, you know, this idea of improvise, adapt, and overcome can be applied to artists as well uh, because we have to improvise, <laughs> adapt, and overcome lots of times, whether we're painting or we have an art career we're trying to get going or we're established or whatever. Uh, you know, in terms of improvisation, uh, you know, I mean, that's kind of the process that I use for painting, right? It's a spontaneous improvisation. That's the way I paint. So that's part of my studio process. You know, but there's lots of times, there's been lots of times over the last 30 years where, you know, I needed a product and I didn't have time to go get it or it was before Amazon could deliver it the next day or whatever and I had to make something that I needed or I could go get it but I thought it cost too much and I can make something here in the studio, I could improvise something, you know, that would work just as well. And you can't believe how long and how many courses I filmed without having a boom looking down over my uh, work surface. I mean, I improvised something with an easel and all kinds of stuff before because I couldn't find a boom that I thought was a reasonable price to buy. So, you know, we as artists are great at improvising things, whether it's in the studio or whether we're painting or whatever. It's just part of our DNA as being artists, I think. In adapting, you know, I, I think, and I, I have talked to a lot of, of students, and, you know, some are not nearly as fortunate as me. They don't have a nice studio to paint in. You know, I know people that paint on a kitchen island or their dining room table or, you know, a tiny little desk in a spare bedroom. Um, you know, so they adapt. They adapt to the conditions that they have and the surroundings that they have. Uh, and, uh, you know, I've talked to a lot of people too that say, you know, gosh, I would like to use that real expensive paint that you use, the golden paint, you know, but I just can't afford it. It's just not in my budget. You know, and I can't buy a bunch of brushes. I can only afford like two or three brushes, you know, and I have to paint on cardboard with just the one it or whatever because I can't afford, you know, expensive surfaces to paint on. And there's nothing wrong with any of that stuff because you're adapting to what it is that you have. You know, the Marines teach this, improvise, adapt, and overcome, because in the chaos of battle, they have to be able to do all that. And sometimes they don't have the resources that they need at the time that they need them, so they have to improvise things, and they have to adapt, and they have to overcome. You know, it's not the same as what we're doing. But that is the reason that they teach that to the Marines, is in the heat of combat, you have to be able to do those things for your survival and for your victory. Now, you know, overcoming is something that all of us as a human race have to do. Everybody has to overcome some sort of an obstacle. That's not just for artists, that's for everybody. I mean, people have physical challenges, they have mental challenges uh, that they deal with every day. Um, you know, as artists, we might think, gosh, you know, I'm having a hard time because I have to overcome all of these naysayers that don't like the kind of art that I make. Or maybe I don't have any support from a support group, an art support group, or my family. I don't have any support from them for what I do. Um, it could be anything. It could be any stumbling block that's placed in your path that you have to overcome. Maybe you just can't, you've been trying to get into this one show for 10 years and it's an annual show and you just can't get in there, you have to figure out a way to overcome that stumbling block and make it happen. So improvise, adapt, and overcome, while it's based on military terminology, it's something that we can think about as artists and adapt 
or, or, or apply those things to the way we operate so that we can keep painting and keep moving forward as artists because that's what we do. We always, always improvise, adapt, and overcome. I hope this was helpful for you. If you like this, please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.